Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. So today we're going to be talking about how do you get a personal loan when you don't have credit? When you don't have a social? Who's the best lenders to go to? All right. And uh, by the way, I, I did get kicked out of a strip club and I'll, I'll tell you about that uh, later on in the video. But at the same time, let's talk about these here loans and see what it is that you need to do in order to get a loan when you don't have credit you don't have a social who's willing to work with you all right now the first lender is still personal loans now with still personal loans their loans go from a thousand up to twenty five thousand now these loans are focused on mostly foreigners but anybody can apply for these loans because again if you have a thin credit file or you don't have a social then this is the type of lender you want to reach out to now the unfortunate thing about still personal loans is that they operate in 16 different states so they're not in all they're not in all 50 states also in terms of re, uh, repaying the loans you have up to 24 months to repay their loans all right now they use different data points because they look at your employment status uh they look at uh how long you've been at your place of residence do you have an active bank account do you have deposits okay so instead of focusing on your uh personal credit they use different data points all right now another one is avant now with avant loans the avant loans go from uh two thousand up to thirty five thousand all right but you do need to have at least a 580 credit score with avant so the good thing about it is because your credit score doesn't have to be perfect and they work with people with a high dti debt to income ratio so mean if you have like a strong credit score okay but you have a, a dti of 55 or above major banks like bank of america american express uh chase then they will turn you down for a loan right uh but with this third party vendor like avant they will still work with you even though your dti is above 50 55 percent even with credit unions like navy federal you can have a 700 plus credit score uh but if your dti is above 55 percent they'll turn you down okay so just keep that in mind uh when trying to get a loan from the major banks that won't work with you these third-party lenders you'll have a higher chance of approval okay now the next one is rad credit loans now with rad credit loans their loans go anywhere from 500 up to 35,000. now the interesting thing about rad credit loans is with their loans they have two payment options okay because their loans are set up to try to help you get out of debt like credit card consolidation and things of that nature but they have two payment options they have an interest only payment option and they have a fixed rate credit option so they have two um, options all right now another lender you want to look at uh that doesn't focus really on your um personal credit it's viva loans now with viva loans their loans can go from 100 up to 15,000. and the good thing about it is like if you're in check systems they platform will still help you find a lender that's willing to work with you if you have a recent bankruptcy their platform will find lenders for you now with most of these loans that i'm talking about your average income is maybe about a thousand dollars a month of consistent income but you can be on disability you can be on welfare uh you can have a low income but it has to be at least a thousand dollars a month one that you don't have to have a thousand dollars a month is opportune loans okay so they deal with people when you don't have a social hub uh, but you have an active bank account deposits job history and stuff because their loans go anywhere from 300 up to 10,000 okay now the minimum income with them you have to have is at least 500 now opportune they also offer visa credit cards as well so their visa credit cards start at about 300 and you don't have to have a social for that also all right so just keep that in mind now the next lender that you want to uh take into consideration is cash usa now with cash usa loans again they're another one of these creditors it's not about the credit score it's all about 
how long you've been on your job do you have an active bank account active email they may ask you uh for some references or something like that but their loans go anywhere from 500 up to 10,000. now the interesting thing about them is that they offer tribal loans now you know how you may go to vegas and lose some money or you may go to the casino and lose some money well when you lose that money lenders take that money and they uh, do short-term loans and stuff like that so they make more money on that money all right so that's the reason like with some of these lenders they're not focusing on the credit they're focusing on do you have consistent income all right now here's something that you do need to know with some of these uh lenders that i'm talking about in terms of how do they check to find out what's good about you what's bad about you in reference to credit uh you have these third-party credit companies okay so one of the bigger ones is lexus nexus so sometimes they may tap into lexus nexus to see what's going on to see if you have a, like a recent bankruptcy or something like that uh with your third-party lenders uh from the major credit bureaus you have a uh, clarity which is owned by uh experian you have data x which is owned by equifax you have a uh, factor trust which is owned by transunion so they may use one of those financial institutions to determine if they want to give you a loan or not but most of these lenders again long as you have an active bank account you have a uh, regular deposits going on and everything they will be willing to work with you okay now that being said like i said i did get kicked out of a strip club all right and what ended up happening we went out we got some food and i got some wings all right and so what ended up happening true story i took my food with me into the strip club because that's one of the strip clubs you know you can eat in there and so what ended up happening i was sitting at the the base of the stage and stuff right i'm eating i'm enjoying the show and stuff and my partner he said hey uh, aren't you going to tip the girl well not thinking I grabbed some money and I put the money in her G-string. But what I wasn't thinking is that I had buffalo sauce on my hand. And so when I put the money in her G-string, yeah, when she got off stage, she ah, oh, you know. And so what happened is, well, you can imagine what happened after that. But at the same time, they came over and they kicked us out or whatever my fault i won't apologize to my guys for it because it wasn't their fault it was my fault i wasn't thinking or whatever but nonetheless it was just a moment i thought i'll share with you guys if you have any other questions about business credit funding personal credit funding click the link in the description schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation thank you